Well, good afternoon and welcome everyone to the wedding of Laura Therese McFadgen and Brayden James Smith. On behalf of Laura and Brayden, I would like to thank you all for making the effort to get all dressed up and make your way here today to celebrate Laura and Brayden's love and witness the moment they soon become husband and wife. I would like to be begin by taking a moment to think of the people who are special to Laura and Brayden who cannot be here with us. May it be distance that has stopped them from making it here or that they no longer walk alongside us. A special mention to Laura's brother, Pat. Know these people are here thinking of you or here with you in spirit today as you, and watching as you make your promises to one another. Over their years together, Laura and Brayden have learned that love is genuine, honest and open, compassionate and kind, passionate and at times blind. You must remember that the love does not know space nor time, nor does love look through jealous eyes. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. And it is a collective love from you all here today that will help sustain and support the promises that they are soon about to make. So in saying that, I would like to invite you all to forget about the worries and concerns of everyday life and be present in us with our sh in our short time here together today. This is a moment to celebrate not only the love in Laura and Brayden's life, but to also appreciate and accept the loved ones for all that they are in yours as well. For Laura and Brayden, becoming married today is a symbol of their deeper commitment they endeavour to make to one another for the rest of their lives. Laura and Brayden are excited to become married as they soon step into the next chapter of their lives and maybe even soon welcome their own children into the world to nurture, teach, love and guide through life. <laughs> Guess what's happening tonight? <laughs> One day, okay? It depends on how soon soon is. <laughs> it can be a long time or soon. <laughs> like any relationship, Laura and Brayden have had their fair share of ups and downs, but it has been through all these good times and bad that has made them stronger to realise and really understand the deep love they do have for each other. Together, Laura and Brayden have achieved so much from going on holidays, buying a block of land to build their first home and achieving their own successes in their careers. But how did we get here today? To honour the big wonderful moment that brought us all here, I'd like to share with you a little story, the moment that Brayden popped the question. Someone's late. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> You're both looking. <laughs> it was nearly a year and a half ago, one autumn day at Laura's family holiday home. But the whole idea on the proposal came to light well before this day. As you all know, Laura and Brayden love taking holidays together and there were a few occasions before this day that the ring nearly popped out. The timing just wasn't right. Brayden had first carried the ring around with him on a month long camping trip. Brayden would leave the ring in the centre console of the car and constantly be locking the doors to ensure its safety. <laughs> it didn't matter if they were going one foot away from the car to take a breather or heading out for an hour from the car, the car was always locked. Laura recalled this becoming very frustrating as it was very unusual behaviour for Brayden to all of a sudden start locking up the car. The second time the ring took a trip was on their Hamilton Island holiday. This, the ring this time would be secured in one of Brayden's work socks, strategically placed in the middle of all of his clothes in his bag. It was on the last day of their holiday and they had checked out of their room early before catching their flight home. With the ring in Brayden's bag, Laura suggests they go off and kill some time first. Laura sees a bunch of bags down in the lobby and she suggests, let's just leave our bags over there. <laughs> Brayden kept resisting the idea and Laura didn't understand why as there was nothing valuable inside those bags. <laughs> So brave Brayden sucked it up and he just hoped for the best. <laughs> Safe to say that ring safely made it home and Brayden still had another opportunity. And that opportunity was only a short time later at Laura's family holiday home. Knowing it held a special spot in Laura's heart, he knew that this was the place. Plus third time lucky, right? Well, kinda. Keeping the plans totally normal, Laura and Brayden head to Diamond Head Beach for the sunrise. Also normal, Brayden will always, always take his drone wherever he would go. So, Brayden sets up his drone and asks Laura to turn away and close her eyes as he wrote in the sand. I cringe as I share this because I understand your pain later, but the moment went almost perfectly well. 
With the drone positioned perfectly in the sky, Brennan gets down on one knee and next to Will You Marry Me, the words written in the sand, asks Laura to turn around with the most exciting question. Excitedly, obviously, Laura repeats, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and they were both bursting with pure joy. Then Brayden realised that the whole realised he was setting the whole as he was setting the whole thing up. The drone sadly had missed the moments past. Will you? Being written in the sand, the battery had died and not been positioned where he thought it was, and this left Brayden completely unimpressed, as you could imagine, surely. <laughs> but Laura was completely impressed. <laughs> Laura says it was more than she could have asked. A secluded beach, the most amazing sunrise, and the ring of her dreams, and finally being able to say yes to marrying the man of her dreams and her soulmate. Apart from almost drowning his drone, Brayden also too was super happy that he waited and used this proposal location because it was the perfect one for Laura. <coughs> so I guess next thing's next. Gotta get them married, right? Let's do it, you guys ready? <laughs> There's one excited person. Are you two ready? <laughs> Always. Always. Well, my name is Ashley Ogle and I'm a marriage celebrant. I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joining marriage in my presence and the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is a union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. That's enough. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm going first. So. You are. Yeah, good. Am I going to be able to read this? Is it big enough? Yeah. So just go. So I call upon the persons here, to, uh, here present to witness that I, Braden James Smith, take thee, Laura Therese McFadgen, to be my lawfully wedded wife. Laura, although we kept our relationship a secret at the start, I know it is one of the best decisions I've ever made. From the early days of our meetings in Patterson Park, where the I love you slipped out, to now where we stand here today, I can safely say in front of all our family and friends, I love you too. Then there was me. I carried the ring around on not one, not two, but three holidays before finally getting down one day and asking you to marry me. In the past seven years, we have achieved and done a lot together. From buying our block of land to building our first house, holidays overseas, um, you getting to know how good camping and going to the snow is. You've also made me a better person, making me get these fresh cuts and pointing out that beige and green do not go together. <laughs> Laura, you are my best friend, my shoulder to lean on, the person who makes me smile just by looking at you. You're the last thing I see before I go to bed and the first thing I see in the morning. I wouldn't have it any other way. I promise Saturday mornings we filled with coffee and acai bowls to take you to sunrises over the beach and exercise most afternoons. <laughs> <laughs> to keep my beard trim, my body slim. <laughs> And most importantly, to always put my best foot forward to be the husband you deserve. Laura, I love you more than any words can describe. I know whatever our future holds for us, it'll be a little bit scary, a little less scary with you by my side. I call upon the persons present here present to witness that I, Laura Therese McFadgen, take thee, Braden James Smith, to be my lawful wedded husband. Braden, it was 2005, but it only feels like yesterday that I spent my Saturday mornings on the side of the Bawara Soccer Oval developing a schoolgirl crush for my brother's friend. From the beginning, everything seemed so easy. We just clicked and were always drawn to each other. So I guess to some, it's no surprise that we're standing where we are today. Yes, I was the first one to blurt out I love you in the very early days, but I'm so glad I did. Because eight years later, a house together and some of the best memories and adventures are what has led us to create our own love story. Thank you for supporting me, encouraging me and frustrating me. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging my strengths and accepting my faults without hesitation. You make me want to be a better person daily and I thank you for loving me as I am, even my fast walking pace. <laughs> I love that every day I'm not allowed to leave the house without giving you a kiss and saying be good, kind and thoughtful. 
how you always send me a message to see how my day is going. I love that no matter what mood I come home in, you always make it your mission to make me smile. I promise to continue to share our adventures with you as together we can face anything. I promise to be there for you through life's good and challenges. I promise to laugh at all your jokes and admire your singing even when they aren't your best work. I promise to always to listen to you even when I have no idea what you're talking about. I promise to be your best friend forever and the soulmate you deserve, but most importantly, I promise to love you. Give each other a hug. Give him a round of applause. All right. So in your vows, you shared how much you have come to love Laura Braden. But now, but we do know there are some things that you do not love about Laura. So today, I ask you can accept that look with that Laura will continue to make the bed knowing that you are only going to get back into it. That Laura will continue to be annoyed at you for being annoying in general. And yes, Laura wants it to be sunshine and rainbows always. <laughs> And lastly, will you accept that Laura will continue to show how much pride she has in her home and do her best to keep it as clean as a display home always? Oh, I do, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> All right. <laughs> that was not. Let's see if we can get him convinced on this one. So in seriousness, do you, Brayden, take Laura to be your lifelong partner? Do you promise that you will love, listen and learn from her every day so that you may share your dreams and future together forever? I do. That was strong. Mm. That was strong. Good job. Got some few good words in me. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> so we know from your vows too, Laura, that there is so much that you love about Brayden. But today I want to ask you publicly, will you also love Brayden through his worst traits as well? His laid back and indecisive nature when you just want an answer. The moments when he leaves the empty toilet rolls on the holder and does not replace them. <laughs> and even as Braden continues to use the kitchen bench top as space for his personal belongings. I do. <laughs> Brief. <laughs> But seriously, do you, Laura, take Brayden to be your lifelong partner? Do you promise that you will love and listen to him every day so that you may share your dreams and your future together forever? I do. Ring bearer. Let's see those rings. In front, in front, in front. So we have heard and witnessed the vows which have been shared by Laura and Brayden. Words, once spoken, can be lost through all the seasons of your marriage that will pass. Therefore, these wedding rings will serve as a visible reminder of the promises, love and joy that you are sharing here today. So hold the ring over her finger. <coughs> over her finger. Mm -hmm. And then repeat after me before sliding it on. Okay. Laura, I place this ring on your finger. Laura, I place this ring on your finger. Wear it as a symbol. And wear it as a symbol. Of eternal love and all we share. Of eternal love. And all we share. And all we share. Go for it. Time the other day. It's a bit warm. <laughs> okay, so you do the same. Brayden, I place this ring on your finger. Brayden, I place this ring on your finger. Wear it as a symbol of Love. We're as a single uh, symbol, symbol of, of eternal love, love. And, all we share. and all we share. Okay, guys. I'm not leaving, it's okay, I'm just here. Now that you have made your promises to exchange, sorry, exchange your avoiding vows, it is with my great pleasure that I can now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, Brayden, you know what to do.